Hey everybody, here we are for our monthly market update, and I'm sorry I'm running a few days behind on getting this out, but we're going to be going over March's numbers and keeping up with this fast-moving market. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. The um, latest out, some, some really good news for folks is that foreclosures are at a 20-year low. If that doesn't give you an indicator of how good our economy is right now, then nothing will. 20 years, we, and we have that many more homes that are even out there, but we're at a, a all time, or a, at a low of 20 years of actual foreclosures. So that is good news for America because um, nobody lo likes having their uh, home taken away from them. So that's some good news I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we're also, another piece of news, new com commercial and residential build starts were down 25%. So that means new construction on commercial and residential are down. So that people are kind of pulling in the reins a little bit. Um, and it's mostly that number of 25% is mostly from uh, commercial. So people are slowing down, money's getting a little more expensive. Uh, people maybe not taking quite as much risk on new construction. My commercial business, I'm seeing a lot of actual, I'm seeing it pick up on existing type sales where people are taking more risk on that end of the spectrum. So it's, it's interesting to see how the market's moving here. Um, and for the first three months in 2019, homes were down and the home sales had fallen 3%. From 2018, uh, the number of houses listed were up 24%. So 24% more homes, 3% less sales, and then here's the, here's the res here's what that equals: 18% of homes on the market are showing about as showing a price reduction. So you have more inventory, less buyers equals price reduction. So that's good news for buyers. We're shifting from a seller's market to a buyer's market, but we're still in a seller's market. Uh, we're still in a really good market. And also it takes, it's 14% higher on the amount of time that it takes. And that's, that's the 2019 numbers for the first quarter. So that's some real eye-opening numbers. We're seeing more inventory, less sales, and longer on the market. But, so it's definitely shifting from a, a, a seller's market to a, balanced market or even into a buyer's market, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Um, but it, it is still a seller's market. So I, I've got to emphasize that. It's still three months inventory. So let's go over that and take a look at what the, in, the numbers look like kind of on a more local level. That was just kind of a general update of the market. And let's go here. So if we go to sales price, let's look here. For Rockwall County, sales are up 2.2%, the price. So you've seen a little bit of appreciation. Last, last month in February, we had saw a depreciation of about 4.4%. So it's bouncing back and forth here. Got a little break in interest rates. So you're going to see this, this going back and forth here. But Dallas County's flat. Collin County's flat. Um, on price appreciation and Kaufman County is up 7.3% and that is because Kaufman County, and I've said this over and over and over, has more value. The buyers, the reason why they're pulled out is they're tired of paying the higher prices. And so they're saying, I'm done. And they're, they still, and they're going more into, buy, into more value um, areas. And so the month supply, so the amount of time it takes to move the supply we currently have, in Rockwall County is up 14% nearly. Dallas County is up 32%. Uh, Collin County, 32%. Kaufman County, 12%. So and it, those are big shifts towards a seller's type, I mean, a, a buyer's market or balance market. We'll hit a balance market before we hit a buyer's market. But you still see 3.3 months, 2.9 months, 3.3, 2.8 months inventory. And, and a seller's market is going to be up to about five months of inventory. It's still a seller's market. Five to seven months is going to be a balanced market. So 
Um, we're still in a really good, strong seller's market. Just it takes a little bit longer to sell your houses because of this. Um, you have 18% more homes on the market, 26 in Rockwall County, Dallas County, 27%, Collin County, 26%, Kaufman County, 12.8%, so 13%. So you, you just have more homes on the market. It's good news for the buyers, guys. Interest rates are lower, lower right now. We've seen a little correction come back. Interest rates are going to creep up. We've already seen it begin to start to creep up. So um, take advantage of the lower interest rates. Take advantage of you have more homes to choose from. You're not as, Buyers aren't having to make as many um, concessions. If you've been thinking about it, it's a good time. Um, pending sales. So this is a lead indicator into this month of April on what sales are going to look like. And it, it and again, looks like we're going to be seeing the, more of the same. Up 1% in, in Rockwall County, up 4% in Dallas County, flat in Collin County, and down in Kaufman County. So that's a lead indicator into this month. And then you take closed sales. So closed sales for Rockwall County in the month of March were down 4%. 4% down in Dallas County, 11% down in Collin County, and nearly 20% down in um, Kaufman County. So there you go, folks. The shift is still shifting. It's doing it very slow and, and actually in a good moderate pace. So, you know, it, it, we just have a really good economy and a market in general. Now a seller can sell their house and have a little bit of a choice to, to move into. Um, so that's the market update for March. Again, sorry, it was a little running a little bit behind here, but um, I'll be talking to you guys soon. If you need any real estate needs, please reach out to me, residential, commercial, or property management. We're a full service firm and would love to serve you guys. Have a great day.